Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella, and today's episode number 114. Hey guys, welcome back. It's been a week since I made a video just because of the holiday weekend here in the U.S. We were really busy, and um, I actually was going to film some videos yesterday because Devin was off, and I thought he could take Jesse and uh, go outside while I could film. But we ended up being busy all day running around doing errands, and... Uh, we didn't get home until afternoon, <laughs> late afternoon. But uh, yeah, so I'm doing it today. Today is uh, Thursday, the 9th. <laughs> I didn't do uh, What You're Working On Wednesday this week. I was going to do it yesterday, but because I didn't get the chance to uh, record, you know, I'm just not going to worry about it. I'll just do it one next week. <laughs> but I do have some finished objects I want to share with you guys and a whip that's almost finished. I actually I started it yesterday and I almost finished it, but that's when we had to leave and. Um, I'll finish it up here in a little bit after I get done recording. And uh, I do have a future whip I'm going to show you because I'm going to start it probably in the next few days. And uh, yeah, get into it. All right, so my first two finished objects was made with some cotton yarn that was gifted to me recently. I can't remember what the color is. I think I already threw away the ball band. But I just made some popsicle cozies, and there's no pattern. I just winged it. They're not even the same. <laughs> I just made like a little rectangle and then I uh, slip stitched them together. Just so that when me and Jesse's eating those little popsicles <laughs> that's, you know, long, uh, we have something over our hands, you know, so our hands aren't freezing. And they work great. We've used them already. And I need to make a few more for, um, you know, so I don't have to wash these ones so often. And also so Devin can have one. <laughs> and if anyone else is over here and wants popsicle, we can have them. So I'm going to whip up some more of these. Just simple. There are patterns for them. And I wanted them, um, um, you know all the way hollow or whatever instead of with the end on them because when I'm eating those popsicles you know I like to move this up while I'm pushing the, the uh, popsicle up <laughs> so uh, I didn't put bottoms on them so I'm just gonna whip up some more eventually and have them in our one of our kitchen drawers to grab out when we're eating popsicles my next finished object is I finally made a divine hat I know everybody else was making them uh, for the last forever it seems like so I finally made one I had a ball it was somewhat used. I can't, not very much was used out of it, but some of it was. Of, I love this yarn, Painted Canyon. I love this yarn, Prince, Painted Canyon. So, this is it. So, I made a divine hat. <laughs> I think it looks really good. This did use up almost all of that ball. Because, like I said, it was missing some yarn. I had used it for something else. And I ended up having, like, a little tiny ball left <laughs> that Jesse ended up playing with. But, um, I think the pattern says that it takes around 150 yards. But I think it turned out nice. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or if I'm just going to donate it, but um, I like it. It's real holy, you know, around the um, the stitch pattern. If you stretch it out, you can see a bunch of holes. But it's dense because of all the double crochets right beside each other. So it's actually warm even though it's holy. <laughs> but uh, I like it a lot. The pattern was super fast. I got the pattern in my head and then I was just making it while watching uh, reality TV. <laughs> And uh, I think it turned out nice. And the coloring, I like that it's a variegated yarn, but you can still see the stripes really good. The twirls, <laughs> uh, I think it turned out super cute. I like it a lot. I love that pattern. I understand now why people made tons of them. And then um, I said what yarn that was. Yeah. My next finished object, I made this. I started it. I did. I made this hat. You know, in like an hour. Um, and then after I finished it, I was like, well, I want to work on something else. So I was just, I'm trying to find things that are fun to work on that aren't um you know don't get boring after a while so I was like well I'll go look around to see if I can find a shawl because I had three balls of red heart super saver stripes I think it's called bright stripes because uh, neon stripes is the one that's more variegated this is the one with the long color changes so I wanted to use them up and um I found a shawl pattern for free on Ravelry and it's called um morning in the meadow by Ann Catelli and I made it. Oh, it's so pretty. I made it, almost all of it, in the same day that I made the hat. And then I had to go to bed. So the next morning I did finish it. That's so pretty. I love it. But here it is. It kind of reminded me of the one ball shawl. It was really similar to it, the beginning part. But then towards the point, um, there are some solid rows and then mixed in with the mesh. And the border, you, you can't really tell it very well it looks kind of scalloped but the border is a houndstooth type border 
I love it a lot and it turned out huge. <laughs> I think it looks awesome. It's really big and cozy. I like it. I like I said I had three balls of it and this is what I had left of the third ball. I just I used probably two and a half uh, skeins all together and I'll probably make a hat or something with that. Um, maybe a little divine hat or something. But I think this turned out so cute. I really love this pattern because it's really easy to uh, memorize. I had it memorized. And then, uh, you know, it's basically just the mesh all the way down to, to here. And then you start doing a few solids and then mesh and then a couple more solids and then mesh. And then <laughs> I think there's one more solid right here. And then you do some more mesh and then you do the house tooth border. It worked up super fast and it was a lot of fun. That's why I didn't want to put it down. And again, I was watching TV while doing this. I didn't really uh, color control it too much, but I did, um, like when one ball would end, I would make sure the next ball was in the same color or the next color that it would have been in the pattern so that the colors are in the same order that they would have been in if it was one giant ball. But yeah, so I'm, I'm really excited about this. I think this turned out great. It's a per good size, I think. And it's beautiful. I love bright colors. Yeah, I know a lot of people will appreciate that because I know a lot of us do like the bright, crazy colors. And like I said, I'll save this and use it for a hat or something. That's all my finished objects this week. I didn't work on the Alpine, the Alpine <laughs> table runner at all this last week. Okay, I had to do with Jesse. <laughs> but uh, as for whips, I only have one active whip right now that I'm working on. I do have this one. This is my Christmas tree skirt. Uh, I haven't touched it in a while. I'll finish it eventually. This Halloween one, I think, is my mom's uh, Sunfire Squares. I, I just haven't worked on it. just haven't felt it. <laughs> That's okay. And the Alpine, Alpine Table Runner is over there, and I'll work on that eventually. I just wanting to do some finishes. You know, I want to get some stuff done and feel successful. But the only active whip I have is a little tiny divine hat. <laughs> I had some leftover uh, Karen, what's this called? So it's Karen Simply Soft paints, and the color is, I think, rainbow? Rainbow bright. And uh, I made a shawl out of it. So I just thought I'd make a little divine hat. It's an like infant size is what it says. I'm almost done with it. I only need two more rolls of the border, and I'll be done. And I just made it just because I wanted to use up this yarn, which I still didn't do. I still got it some more that I need to maybe make another little hat or something. I just thought it'd be cute. Uh, you can't see it on the camera very well, but in real life, you can still see the, the ridges really well. So I think it looks cute. But I'll probably um, make up another one and then just put these in my donate pile and donate them. <laughs> uh, because I don't know if we're going to have another baby anytime soon. And uh, I don't know if, you know, it depends on when I get pregnant, when it will you need a hat. So I need to think about the size, you know, the size the kid's going to be when it's called. That's what I'm trying to say. But yeah. So I got to finish this up today. And like I said, it's just, I'm on the, the second row of the border. So I think I need to do two more rows. And uh, it'll be all done, and then I'm going to probably whip out another one real fast just to use up this yarn. That's something I'm trying to focus on now is using up yarn that I have instead of buying more. Which I don't really buy yarn a lot anyways, but I do want to buy some yarn. <laughs> There's a lot of yarns coming out that I want to buy, but um, I already have so much yarn that I'm trying to use it through. And that's where this next whip, this upcoming whip, is coming from. This, I love making... Um, themed decorations for my house for every holiday. <laughs> if you guys have watched me at all, you probably know that. Um, and one of my favorite holidays is Halloween. My favorite holiday is Christmas, but my next favorite is Halloween. And I love, we love decorating for uh, both of those holidays. And I made a Halloween blanket, I think last year, and it was the one by Maria's uh, Blue Crown. And it was the big holiday, or uh, Halloween one with all the little holiday, little Halloween people like witches and uh, pumpkins and spiders and all that all over it and I did back it with uh, some fleece and it turned out awesome and I also got first place at the fair with that <laughs> but um, so I found another one I've actually had it in my stash for a while of patterns and I was looking through them the other day trying to find something larger to make um, and I found it and it's a Halloween blanket and it's called the pumpkin face throw by now yarn expressions it was by Red Heart um, and I got all the yarn for it. I went to the website and looked at it and you need two skeins of black and pumpkin and then you need one skein of spring green, amethyst, heather gray. I think that's all. But I have all those. <laughs> so um, I was like, well, I'm just going to start that out because it's made in squares, bigger squares. 
and then there's some little appliques on there and then borders and stuff so I think that would be a fun project to uh, just work on here and there between now and Halloween and then I can have another blanket for our living room for Halloween and I do have a big piece of purple fleece left over that might be able to fit on the back of it or I can just go to Joann's and buy some more because they usually have really good deals on their fleece um, just randomly and also the um, the flannel sometimes goes on really good sale and that would be another good backing for a blanket and uh, I just thought it'd be fun to work on that. I do want to make the Maria's Blue Crown Christmas blanket, but I don't have all the yarns, enough of the yarns on hand to make it, so I'd have to purchase more. So I'm going to wait uh, for doing that. And I still want to make the Corner to Corner Grinchmas Christmas blanket, but uh, again, I don't have the yarn on hand. But hopefully um, the pumpkin face throw, <laughs> I forgot what it's called, will be a whip next uh, episode and maybe uh much work on Wednesday because this weekend on Saturday our drive-in here in town we have a drive-in still <laughs> is showing they've been showing older movies lately because uh, you know new, new movies aren't being released I guess anyways what I was saying is our drive-in last week uh, showed the Goonies and Raiders of the Lost Ark and this week Friday they're showing the Goonies again which we wanted to go see but we didn't get a chance last week but Devin has to work Friday but Saturday they're showing Grease and Footloose together because they do matinees and um, I really want to go see Grease, and that's our first showing. And my mom has agreed to watch Jesse, so me and Je Devin can go. I don't know if we'll stay to watch Footloose, because if we stay to watch Footloose, we won't get home until probably 1-ish in the morning. Um, <clears throat> because they show the first movie, which is like two hours long. And then there's like a brief intermission, and then uh, they show the second movie. So it's usually really late at night before you get to leave if you watch both movies. But um, I love the drive-in, because you can take your own snacks and stuff, and you don't have to, you know, we won't even have to get out of the car. Um, we could just show up and, you know, go. <laughs> but um, I'm super excited about it. I've been wanting to watch. They've showed Grease a few other times over the last few years, and I never get to go. And that's one of my favorite movies. I've always thought it would be so cool to watch it at the drive-in. Um, so I'm excited that we um, hopefully get to go. <laughs> it really depends on, you know, between now and Saturday uh, what all happens. But hopefully everything works out good and we can go watch Grease and maybe we'll stay for Footloose. But I don't know if I want to stay up that late. <laughs> uh, I love Footloose also, but I love Grease more. But I'm excited about that. So I'm probably going to take, because um, we have to get there early to get a good parking spot. Since we have a small car, we can park towards the front of the screen. But to get a good spot, we got to show up early. Normally when we go to the drive-in, we show up around 5 in the afternoon. Okay, I got interrupted again. <laughs> I had to run in the house looking for something Jesse was looking for. And I found it finally. But yeah, so as of now, I guess right now that's all the updates I have to say, except life updates. My hair looks crazy, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, we finally got our furniture, finally. <laughs> I did have to care in a little bit about it to get it. And uh, by that, I mean I had to complain to corporate because our local store that we ordered it from was, I felt like, me and Devin both felt like they were um, maybe lying to us, but definitely, um, what is it called? Like, they were making up excuses as to why they weren't delivering the furniture yet. And I, I personally think that they were waiting to get another order in our area to deliver. Because they're like 20 minutes away. And I think they were waiting to make it worth their while or whatever. Because as soon as I complained to corporate, uh, they came the next day with the furniture. After saying that they don't know when it's going to be. <laughs> so they had it. They just didn't bring it. And that really annoyed me. But we finally got it. And we, oh, we're trying to redecorate the living room slowly. It's looking better. <laughs> it's not looking good right now because there's toys everywhere. But when it's, you know, set up nice, it looks good. I love the new furniture. I just, I hate that we had to complain to get it. <laughs> but sometimes I guess you have to do that. But yeah, so that's life update. My mom's doing good. She's healing. Her arm is healing. And uh, she's, you know, she's still sore, obviously, because I said it'd take like 12 weeks to heal. But she's doing a lot better. And so far, no one here has gotten sick with the, the virus. Um, yeah, our area... We were doing good, I thought, <laughs> and then uh, cases started rising, so now there are a lot of the areas around us, not my actual county, but like uh, Davidson County, which is where Nashville is, they're uh, going back in stages, so they are requiring masks again everywhere and um, closing like bar locations and stuff like that, and uh, which stinks, <laughs> but um I know, you know, it's just this part of life, and then eventually it'll all be over, and it'll just be memories, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, but we're we're all fine here. Everything's pretty much normal here, and we're still really cautious. We pr still pretty much stay at home, <laughs> but um, or go over to like our family members' houses. And uh, yeah, so life's pretty much the new normal, <laughs> as much as it can be. 
and uh, I am going to be doing some sewing this next week. I'll probably go fabric shopping this weekend. Devin's off. Joanne's has got a decent sale on fabric. And um, I got, I'm got. i going to be making some drawstring bags probably and notion pouches. And there's a new bag pattern that I purchased. There's actually two. There's at least one that I'm going to work on uh, this next update. There will be some available. And then there's a tote bag that I, I want to work on. I just haven't had the chance to work on it. But uh, in the next few uh, shop updates, there will be some new bags popping up. Because I'm getting kind of bored of making drawstring bags. And I just want to, you know, change it up. And, uh, yeah. I guess that's about everything I have to talk about today. I guess I'll see you guys in the next video. Which will probably be, um, well, if I buy any yarn or anything this weekend, I'll do a, a little haul video. And then I'll do another No Kitchen Name episode eventually. And I'll watch you working on Wednesday. And I haven't been active at all on my other channel because I backslid <laughs> in the health world. Um, just, you know, all the stress and stuff of everything going on. Not just the virus, but all the other personal things going on. Uh, caught up with me and I just needed to take a break from worrying about everything. And, uh, but I'm, I'm hopping back on the horse again. <laughs> um, trying to get back into my healthy habits and trying to be healthier for me and my family. And if I ever do get pregnant again, um, I want to be healthy. Because my first pregnancy was pretty rough. Uh, I had preeclampsia really bad. And uh, that was mostly my fault because I didn't do what I was supposed to do while I was pregnant. And um, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> if I ever get pregnant again, I don't want to go through all the preeclampsia stuff and uh, be in the hospital for a week after the baby's born. <laughs> I want to like have the baby come home like more normal people get to do. <laughs> but um, yeah, anyways, I think that's it. I'm planning on posting on the other channel eventually. Maybe this weekend. If we get a chance to go to a park or something, I'll make some clips. I don't know. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.